Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 433. This week, I should say this past week, my uh, brain was on a roller coaster ride of all different things about Street Outlaws, no prep kings. And it is about the topic we're discussing this week, Kai Kelly, and his car for no prep kings. For those that don't know, Kai Kelly is like the nitrous guy we've seen on Street Outlaws from the, I almost said season one, episode one. From the first episode we saw Kai Kelly on, when the 405 went down to NOLA for the first time. In what is, what I believe to be, the single best episode of Street Outlaws of all time. We saw Kamikaze and Yelko for the first time. We saw Dave run Kai Kelly, Sonoma versus Shocker. Dave winning by a bumper in, in what is arguably the best race we've ever seen in Street Outlaws. The episode as a whole was truly phenomenal. And that was the first time we saw Kai Kelly. And from then on, we begin to see him again and again in Cash Days episodes, typically winning in the end, getting all of the cash at the end of Cash Days. Kai Kelly was winning it all with a nitrous setup. We would then see him have this whole era of dominance and street outlaws on the street, mainly because Chief just couldn't seem to beat him. Big Chief the Crow, arguably the main character at the time in Street Outlaws, had been able to beat absolutely everybody except this one guy, Kai Kelly. And that's kind of why Kai Kelly's name really become synonymous with Street Outlaws and became like a household name for Street Outlaws because he's not only beating everybody, but the biggest star on the show can't beat him whatsoever, it seems like. And because of that, Kai Kelly went on a rocket ship straight to the top of superstardom in Street Outlaws. Then we'd see No Prep Kings begin. He was obviously racing in that. We had seen him racing in No Prep races and stuff like that before. And it was just everything involving Street Outlaws. He was there. He was present. He was popular. He was huge. He was one of the biggest names and drivers and stars there was in his car, the Shocker. What was one constant with that car from beginning to end? The paint? No, that thing was matte black, glossy black, gray. It changed all the time. The look, the wheels maybe? No, the wheels changed all the time. The engine, I mean, he was blowing stuff up. He changed stuff here and there. The power adder. The power adder is what remained the same the entire time. We even started to see Kai Kelly in other cars. All of those cars were nitrous as well. He had the Aftershock, the Showstopper, and No Prep Kings, for instance. Two nitrous Camaros once again. Every, I mean, I guess a Camaro is a pretty constant there as well. But the main constant was nitrous. We were seeing so many drivers. For instance, look at the 405. We saw Monza step away from Nitrous and go turbo. We saw countless other drivers step away from Nitrous and go turbo. And everyone's wondering, is Kai Kelly going to do the same? He didn't. He stuck with Nitrous until last season of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. Now, we've been talking about Kai Kelly bringing all these new cars. I mean, it seemed like every season at a certain time. When was it during the year? shortly like right at the start of the year i think it was or right at the end of the year i don't remember specifically when it was but there was a time during the off season of no prep kings where it seemed like kai kelly was having a yard sale where everything he owned was for sale he's posting his home his trailer his toter home he's posting his cars his atvs his bikes his race cars everything he's got seems to be for sale and we're always talking about oh is he gonna sell this stuff get a new car what is he gonna do with the old car is he gonna build a whole new car what's the power out of mean these cars we were talking about this stuff pretty much non-stop Although, Kai Kelly came out and silenced everybody last season. We're saying, I'm building a new car. Yes, I still have the Shocker and all that stuff. But for No Prep Kings, my main car I'm going to be competing in is going to be a brand new car. It was this G-body, flat black G-body named Jangalang. And that thing had the unthinkable on it for Kai Kelly. That being a screw blower sticking out of the hood of the car. Now, you guys know I love screw blower cars. They look just gnarly. They look absolutely insane. And Kai Kelly was bringing out a flat black G body with a screw blower sticking out of the hood for season six of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. And we were wondering, is Kai going to have success? Is he going to be fast? We've seen him very fast. Arguably one of, if not the, I mean, top three fastest guy we've ever seen on Street Outlaws with nitrous the entire time. We have seen guys such as Ryan Martin go back and forth between a couple of different power adders and remain at the top, but that's a select, select specific person right there. A very, very, um, what's the specific word in science class? When you're doing um, a science project and you have all the numbers that are super close together, it's like, oh, these are all the different data points. And we have one way off over here. 
what's the name of that? I'm drawing a complete blank on it. As soon as I click stop recording, that's going to come to my mind and I'm going to think about it. You guys probably know what it is. When you have like something that's an oddity that's just so far beyond everything else. Like that's what Ryan Martin is. So you can't compare Ryan Martin to other people. Kai Kelly though, we were thinking, has the potential to do what Ryan Martin did, where Ryan had his car, the gray car, he built that thing, had it be twin turbo if I'm not mistaken, and then before he even raced it, swapped it to screw blower and went out and won no prep kings. And we're like, if anyone else honestly, realistically, no prep kings could do that, just have a sudden change like that and have no hiccups or anything like that and just go right into success, would be Kai Kelly. But the question was still there. Is Kai Kelly going to have like hiccups, bumps in the road, some issues and stuff with swapping over from nitrous, which he ran for, I mean, over a decade at that point on Street Outlaws, swapping the screw blower, is he going to have success? An outlier. That's the name of the word. An outlier. That, that's what, that's what Ryan Martin would be there. Like, I just thought of it. <laughs> Kai Kelly came out last season in No Crep Kings and showed out. He won multiple event wins, came out in the season hot. Now, towards the end of the season, it wasn't too great. He was having some issues and stuff, but he came out swinging at the start of last season. And that's the thing, too. Like, yeah, you could knock him for not really doing so great towards the end of the season, but the main point was, was like, is he going to do good after switching over to Screwblower from Nitrous for so long? And he came out at the start of the season and was unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So unbelievable, in fact, Ryan Martin is quoted in saying, in a video on Ryan Martin's YouTube channel, it's like the Fireball Camaro Racing YouTube channel, something along the lines of that. He said, one of the reasons we have two cars here for this next season of No Prep Kings is because we were racing Kai Kelly, who had a screw blower, and he just flat out outran us. We gave it everything we had, and we couldn't beat him. He just outran us. That's one of the reasons as to why Ryan Martin's bringing out two cars in this next season. He's going to have a Pro Charger car and a screw blower car in season seven of Charles No Prep Kings. Because of how successful and fast Kai Kelly was in his first ever season with a screw blower car. So when I see this post Kai Kelly made this past week, my mind was blown. He posted a picture of Jangalang. It was a weird picture, I will note. It was one of those pictures where it's like the hood of the car is meant to be there, but it's like kind of like faded away so you can see under the hood. And it had a, it had a pro charger sticking off the front of the car. I'm like, what? Then he had a picture of like the car with the hood on. I'm like, the hood kind of looked pretty cheap and weird. I'm like, what? what is that? I mean, like, yeah, it's a G body. Like maybe trying to get like the grimy, dirty, nasty look with like some real street G body you might see out on the street and who knows where. But I'm like, maybe that's what he's trying to do. And I just thought it seemed odd, but I'm not lying at whatsoever in this video. I was convinced. I'm like, Kai Kelly's posting that. Why else would he post that? Kai Kelly went to Pro Charger. And I'm literally thinking, like, I'm going to have so many videos to talk about. Like, I'm going to be sitting here just in disbelief because, like, Ryan Martin said one of the reasons why he's bringing two cars is because of how fast Kai Kelly was with a screw blower. And then Kai's just leaving a screw blower after one season. He won last season. And he's just walking away from it. I'm like, what is going on? And then I see Kai Kelly a day later post, just kidding. We still have the screw blower sticking out of the hood of the car. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank God. Because I was thinking about, like, going into this season, this is probably going to be the best season we've had competitively. Normally, it's just a handful of different drivers at the top, and it's only, like, Ryan Martin, Kai Kelly, Justin Swanstrom at the very end. I think this season, at the very end, it's going to have a whole, like, at least five guys at the very end, like, still in it to the last race. And Kai Kelly's most definitely going to be one of those drivers. But, like, if he's making another change, I know I've just spent the past five minutes talking about how Kai Kelly came out with a brand new setup after switching from Nitrous, after running Nitrous for years, screw blower something he's never done before, and show up, show out, and win the season. I know I was just talking about how successful he was with that. But I still can't help but question, like, if he's switching away from that, like, is he going to have success this next year? So I was sitting, I'm like, oh, no, what is Kai Kelly doing? What is he doing? He won, and it's the reason why Ryan Martin is making the biggest change we've ever seen someone do in No Prep Kings. Why would he step away from that? Then he comes out and posts... Just kidding, everybody. We're staying screw blower with the G-Body for this next season of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. So Kai Kelly, dude, I literally, I was thinking of not making this the main topic for this week and not making this the video. But he, like, legitimately fooled me so much. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, I my brain was like, I'm like, what is he, why is, like, what's his reasoning for, like, because it, it just, it made no sense to me whatsoever. And then he came out and said, no, nope, I'm just joking. It's like, shout out Kai Kelly. 
He had me in the first half. He really did. He had me in the first half right there, though. But no matter what you see Kai Kelly posting about, we know for a fact in this next season of Strouds No Prep Kings, Kai Kelly will be trying to run it back in Jangalang with a screw blower sticking out of the hood of that thing. And that is all for this week's episode of Street Race Talk. I thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. All of my videos I upload at 6 p.m. at a time. Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did Kai Kelly have you fooled? Did Kai Kelly have you fooled in the first half there like he did me? Thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Like I said, I thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great week this weekend. We're looking forward to a great weekend this weekend. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all your favorite XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.